This is the story of Taylor McKean Shelton. April 10, 2012 was a day much anticipated by both of our families. Wes and I were opening another chapter in our lives with the birth of our first son, Taylor McKean Shelton. From the beginning, it was obvious that Taylor was a special child, one that God gave special gifts to. He had the ability to make the day brighter for many that he came into contact with. His quick smiles, laughter, and humor were very infectious. Wes and Ella were focused on providing Taylor only the best and life had new meaning. Their perfect little family was coming together. But as Robert Burns wrote in 1785, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. On Saturday, June 15, 2013, all of our plans came to a sudden crossroads that no one could ever have predicted. Taylor had been struggling with what presented as another ear infection of which he had had several in the previous months. He was prescribed another round of antibiotics and we were told to monitor his temperature, appetite, and behavior. We returned home and had a relaxing night as a family. He ate well, had a bath, and went to bed. His fever had dropped to near normal. When Wes and I went to get Taylor up, we immediately knew something was terribly wrong. He was not breathing. The unimaginable was happening and I pleaded with him to wake up. I begged God to not let this happen. Wes and Ella frantically performed CPR and called the paramedics. No amount of training that they knew could have prepared them for this nightmare. The paramedics arrived and determined there was nothing more they could do. Taylor had passed away earlier that morning and the feeling of helplessness was complete and all-encompassing. The following days became a blur of activity. Friends and family came from near and far to be close to us and support us in any way that was possible. Wes and Ella's disbelief, confusion, and anger set in. The most common response people have when learning of Taylor's passing at 14 months old is, is that he was too old for it to be SIDS. What we learned is after the age of 12 months, these cases still occur, but are classified as SUDC, which is Sudden Unexplained Death in Childhood. We knew that we needed to help spread awareness of SUDC after losing Taylor, and that has been the purpose of his foundation. They struggled with the overwhelming pain, but from that pain, the Taylor McKean Shelton Foundation was founded. Taylor's Foundation holds two T Offer Taylor golf tournaments, which includes both a reception and incredible auctions each year, which raise the majority of the money we collect. The first of these two golf tournaments is held in Ella and I's hometown of Batesville, Arkansas, while the second is held at the Shadow Valley Country Club in Rogers. We have been able to raise over $400,000 and also raise awareness of SUDC across the state of Arkansas. We've been so fortunate to have the support of so many people and in turn be able to help so many more. $200,000 to the SUDC Foundation in an effort to help advance research. Numerous contributions to the White River Health System to help fund the Cribs for Kids program. The Foundation has also funded a toddler pool at the Batesville Aquatic Center, a bedroom in Taylor's name at the Ronald McDonald's house in Mercy Hospital in Rogers, and to the new Arkansas Children's Hospital in Northwest Arkansas. We have a very strong group of volunteers that have kept Ella and I going. Um, they've been there for us the whole time and, and have taken a lot of the responsibilities off of us. So we really appreciate everything that they do. The Taylor McKean Shelton Foundation is making a difference, impacting the lives of SUDC parents and families, funding crucial research, and we owe it all to you. Our sponsors, donors, and participants are the heart and soul of this event. And together, with Taylor, we can help change the world.